I'm out here in Los Angeles today vlogging on the Sony a6600 and today I'm gonna break down the complete vlogging setup for this camera and stick to the very end where I'm gonna show you a great budget option as well. You gotta just press record. So let's jump right into this vlog setup. So at the base of this, we have the Sony a6600, which is at $1,197. You know, sometimes this uh, camera can go on sale, be a little bit cheaper. And so definitely check the links in the description. Everything is gonna be listed down below. So the first thing that we added to this camera was this cold shoe relocator. And so this allows the microphone to be placed on top of the camera, but you can also see the LCD screen. But if you have your shotgun mic, just wear the normal hot shoe mount you can't see your screen. And so obviously with vlogging, that's gonna be a big issue. So this is you know, a must have uh, on the Sony a6600. With that cold shoe extender, we're able to put on the Rode VideoMic NTG, which is the best microphone for vlogging. This is an audio test of the internal mic on the Sony a6600, so we can compare it to the other shotgun microphones. This is an audio test with the $250 Rode VideoMic NTG shotgun microphone going straight into the Sony a6600. If you wanna see a video actually all about this microphone, you can click the card at the top of this video and check that out. Supporting the camera, we have the Joby 3K Gorillapod, and this is an awesome tripod that allows you to, to hold it selfie mode like this, or you can extend the legs, you can set it on the table, and because you can really bend and morph these legs on, on the gorilla pod and makes it super versatile for vlogging. Now the lens we're using for this vlog setup is the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter f4 lens and so this lens all the way wide at 10 and then zoomed in at 18 is going to stay at f4 which is pretty awesome. It's got image stabilization. It's a great lens because it's so wide and so for vlogging you really don't have to hold the camera that far away from you. So this is what the lens looks like at 10 millimeters and so I'm actually able to hold the camera pretty close to my face and still get this wide angle which is great for a few reasons. One, I'm able to put my elbow right here up against my body so if my arm gets tired this is a lot easier to hold than if I'm holding it out here that's gonna kill my arm if I'm doing that all day. So that that's the first nice thing. The second thing is that the shotgun microphone is really close to me because I'm holding the camera so close to my face. So you're gonna get a lot better audio. This is the best SD card that we recommend for vlogging. And when picking an SD card, you definitely don't wanna just cheap out and go with something super cheap. This one actually comes in at $37, you know, right around there. It's 128 gigs and it's fast enough to do any of the record settings in video, in photo. This card is gonna be quick enough. This card is also shock proof, temperature proof, x-ray proof, waterproof. This thing is tough, it's reliable, it's perfect for just kind of throwing in your backpack, traveling with going to the airport. Uh, this is the best SD card for this camera. Now the batteries in this camera last a long time, but you definitely want to have a few extras when vlogging. And so for right around $45, you can get two extra batteries as well as a charger. And you definitely need this when vlogging because even though these batteries are way more improved than the A6300, A6500, you still might need some extras. And so definitely pick <laughs> so definitely pick these up for an extra $30 you can get this power bank that is going to one be strong enough to actually charge these batteries and it has a lot of juice in there and so this is actually going to last you a few days and uh, charge these up quite a few times you can toss this in your backpack and charge your batteries on the go another cool thing with having this six foot cable is you can plug this directly into the camera this might be in your pocket this might be in your backpack and then you're charging your camera while you're shooting now this vlog setup comes in at $2,488. Now if you already have the camera, everything is gonna cost you about $1,291. Now, if you're balling on a budget, I'm gonna show you a great option and show you how you can save $1,033. Now for the budget option, some things are gonna stay the same. We're keeping the Sony a6600 and we're keeping this uh, cold shoe extender so that our mic can be away from the screen, but we are gonna replace the mic. So the microphone that we chose for the budget option was the Tackstar SGC598. So this comes in at $25 versus this microphone, which has some better quality, but it's $250. And so this is a great budget option because it sounds way better than the internal mics. 
This is an audio test of the internal mic on the Sony A6600 so we can compare it to the other shotgun microphones. This is an audio test with the $25 Tackstar shotgun microphone going straight into the Sony A6600. All right, now we're gonna lose the Joby and pick up this Manfrotto handheld tripod where, you know, the Joby was around $108 and this is $18. And so we're saving about $100 there. And this thing still gets the job done. You know, you can't clamp it to like a chair or a fence or something like that, like you can with the Joby. But for vlogging, this thing is, you know, serving its purpose. You can hold it like this. You can still set it down on a table because it has the tripod legs. And so this gets the job done perfect for our budget solution. The next thing we're gonna replace is the lens. And so this is about an $800 lens. We're gonna be replacing it with the $140 kit lens. Now there's some pros with the kit lens. It can zoom up to 50 millimeters, uh, but you don't have a constant aperture. It doesn't go as wide. And so when vlogging, you do have to hold it out a lot farther, but with saving all that money, those are some things that we're gonna have to sacrifice. I wanted you guys to see what it looks like to vlog on this budget setup. So I'm using this lens at 16 millimeters. I'm I'm using the Tackstar microphone. I'm using the entire setup. And you can see that the frame is a lot closer. It's, it's a lot closer to my face than that wide angle lens. But if I extend my arm here, I can kind of get that wide angle shot. I can get multiple people here in the frame. And this is a lot lighter of a setup than the pro version. So with all things considered, this is still a great budget option. Now the next thing we're gonna change is the SD card. And so this is gonna be at 64 gigs instead of 128 gigs. You're gonna to have to offload it more frequently, but it's still gonna get the job done, especially if you're filming all day, you'll be set with this SD card and it's still the same reliable brand, just less storage. When it comes to the extra batteries, we still have decided to pick these up on the budget option because it's such a necessity, but we're dropping the power bank because we wanna save a little bit money and these batteries actually do last you a long time, but you'll have to be more careful turning your camera on and off between filming. And you can find the full setup for the budget and the professional versions in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can check out other videos on the Sony a6600. I'll see you next time.